first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic probability we are going to solve some of the question based on the concept called cards so before solving a question you should know some knowledge about the cards right how many cards are there and what are all the different colors etc so first of all a pack has 52 cards a pack of cards will be 52 cards totally we have 52 cards in a pack and out of these 52 cards we have two colors one is red color and another is black color so 26 cards we have red color and another remaining 26 cards we have black color and totally out of these 52 cards we have four different shapes so one is diamond and the second is art and the third is club and the fourth is paint so totally we have four different shapes and two different colors so 26 cards with black color and 26 cards with red color so here the shape of card with the diamond and also art will be in red color and the remaining two shape which is spade and club will be in the terms of black color right and totally we have four different shape and each shape has 13 cards one three cards if it is a diamond we have 13 cards art 13 cards club 13 cards and spade 13 cards so when we talk about a single for example let me take a diamond right so diamond 13 cards inside this 13 card we have numbers starting from 2 to 10 and we have a's initially which is called as a and jack king and queen similarly we have 2 to 10 in art and also king queen jack and also ace so totally we have 13 13 13 13 we have total of 52 cards and if we talk about kings so each shape we have one king so totally in the 52 cards we have four kings similarly we have four queens we have four jack and also we have four ace and another important thing the word called face cards f a c e c a r d s face cards the meaning of face cards is in a pack of 52 cards we have 16 face card one six face card the meaning of face card which is ace jack king and queen so these four cards is called as a face cards and each shape we have four four cards so we can say that totally 16 cards are called as a face cards so this is the basic knowledge that you need to know in the topic called cards so if you know all these steps let me move on to the question now and we can solve some of the questions so that you will get an idea how to solve the question that is based on cards question number one one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability of picking a black color card so our target to pick one card out of these 52 cards and that card should be in the color of black so our target to find what is the probability and we know the formula right probability is equal to sum of observation divided by possibility and here we already know that pack of 52 cards so we can say that the possibility will be 52 and the numerator sum of observation one card to be picked and this card to be in the color of black color card and we already know that out of 52 cards we have four different shapes and two different shapes which is art and a diamond will be in the color of red and the remaining two shape one is club and another is spade these two shape cards will be in the color of black and we already know that each shape will have 13 cards so totally we can say that 13 plus 13 26 cards will be in the color of black so we can say that sum of observation will be 26 and divided by 52 is the total possibility so now we can cancel this 126 26 two times so finally we can say that answer for question number one is one divided by two question number two one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability of picking a ace of spades or jack of diamonds listen here similarly one card to be drawn at random out of 52 cards so we can say that the total possibility is 52 and sum of observation the one card which we are going to pick it should be either ace of spades or otherwise jack of diamond and we already know that jack of diamond we have only one card in diamond we have only one jack so we can say that sum of observation one or otherwise it should be ace of spades which means in a spade we have only one ace so we can say that one plus one so friends got it one will be in diamond that is uh, jack right so jack diamond one possible or otherwise spade ace one possible so totally sum of observation the numerator that is two so two divided by 52 so once you cancel this answer for this question will be 1 divided by 26 so got it our target to pick one card and that card should be either diamond jack or otherwise a spade so there are two possible so we can say that the total sum of observation will be 2 and the denominator total possibility will be 52 cards so 2 divided by 52 which is 1 divided by 26 question number 3 
One card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. What is the probability that the card is either a red card or otherwise a king? Most important concept. So out of 52 cards, our target to pick one card. And that card should be either red color or otherwise it should be king. And we know that the formula for probability sum of observation divided by possibility and 52 cards. So we can say that the total possible is 52. And now the sum of observation is most important. The one card that we are going to pick, it should be either red color. Got it? It should be either a red color or otherwise it should be king. And most important here. How many red color cards we have? Total 52 cards and there are two color. 26 will be black and remaining 26 will be red. So we can say that the red color card will be 26 or which is plus. King. How many king card we have? We have totally four kings, right? In diamond, we have one king. Art, we have one king. And club, we have one king. And spade, we have one king. So totally we have four kings. But listen carefully in this red card, which red card we already know that diamond and also art these two shapes we have red color cards and in these two shapes we have already picked a king card here got it so remaining only two kings are remaining which is most important you should not write four here why because in this 26 cards we have already picked a king so remaining two kings that should be from club and also it should be from spade so remaining two so 26 plus 2 which is 28 so we can say that 28 is the numerator and the denominator is 52 which is most important one card should be picked and that card should be either red color or otherwise king king we we already know that in a pack of 52 cards they will be four king but in this red color card we have already picked two kings so the remaining two kings so 26 plus 2 will be 28 i think now we can cancel this on a four table when you cancel this on four table seven fours are 28 one fours are 2 12 so seven divided by 13 so finally answer for question number three is seven divided by 13 so kindly don't make a mistake where most of the beginners will do they will write it as four here so which is wrong right in this 26 we already have two kings so the remaining two kings to be picked here so we can say the 26 and 2 the numerator will be 28 question number four one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability of picking an ace and it's an easy question because we already know that the total possibility will be 52 and the numerator sum of observation our target to pick one card and that card should be ace and there are four different shapes and each shape we have one ace so diamond we have one ace art we have one ace then club and also in spade so each shape we have one ace totally four a's will be there in the pack of 52 cards so we can say that the numerator is four sum of observation and the denominator is 52 so once you cancel this it becomes one divided by 13 so finally answer for question number four is one divided by 13 question number five one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability of picking a club so similarly the total number of cards is 52 so we can say the total possibility is 52 and the numerator our target to pick one card and that card should be club right and we already know that totally we have four shapes and each shape we have 13 cards so club our target to pick a club card so we can say that in a club we have 13 cards so we can say that 13 will be sum of observation and the denominator 52 will be the total possibility so i think we can cancel this on four times right when you cancel this four times it becomes 52 so one divided by four so answer for question number five is one divided by four question number six one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability of picking a red queen so our target to pick one card and that card should be a red queen right and we already know that a pack which is 52 cards so total possibility will be 52 and the numerator sum of observation that should be red color queen right we already know that 26 cards will be in the color of red and uh, the diamond the shape of diamond will be in the color of red and also art will be in the color of red and we can surely say that in diamond we have one queen and art we have one queen so totally a red color we have two queens so we can say that sum of observation is two and the denominator total possibility is 52 so once you cancel this answer for this question is one divided by 26 but only our target to pick one card and that should be red queen right so we can definitely say that a red shape we have only two which is diamond and art so each shape 
5 we have 1 queen so we can say the total we have 2 queens so 2 divided by 52 which is 1 divided by 26 question number 7 one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability that the card is either king or otherwise a spade interesting question so we already know that the total possibility will be 52 and our target to pick one card and that card should be either a king or otherwise it can be a spade and listen carefully we know that in a spade we have 13 cards right so we can say that spade we have 13 cards and how many kings are there in 52 cards we have totally four kings but in this spade we have already picked one king so only remaining three kings so or which is addition so finally we can say that 13 spade and remaining three king totally 16 so sum of observation will be 16 and divided by possibility will be 52 got it so spade in the shape of spade we have 13 cards another observation is king already in this 13 card we have one spade king so we have to eliminate that so remaining king will be three kings so 3 plus 13 will be 16 so now i think when you cancel this on four table four times again when you cancel this on four table which is 13 so 4 divided by 13 will be the answer for question number 7 last eighth question one card is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards what is the probability that the card is either art or a king so similar concept we have totally 52 cards and one card to be picked and that card should be either either uh, art or otherwise it can be a king and we already know that art we have 13 cards or which is addition next is king and most important the remaining kings will be only three kings remaining got it why because in this art 13 art we have already picked one king so remaining three kings so 13 plus 3 will 16 divided by 52 again cancel when you when you cancel this on four table 4 divided by 13 so answer for the last question is 4 divided by 13 finally in this video we have solved uh, eight different question on the concept called cards so take your books and practice more and more number of question minimum of 20 to 30 question that is based on the cards only if you practice more question you will get an idea how to solve the toughest question so uh, the concept is most important if you need to solve a question on cards the concept plays a major role right the knowledge about the cards so thank you so much for watching this and all the eight different question we have solved where the concept is based on one card is drawn right in the future video we can say two card is drawn three card is drawn those questions also so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video with your friends so that your friends can also learn this bye